Hi guys. Today in this session we are going to learn what is the functions. What is the functions? So in this video we are going to draw a face image. But if you want to draw just one time of face image, that's fine. You don't need to use the functions. But if you want to draw the same image many times, it's better to use functions like this. So if you click somewhere on the canvas, the same image face image face image will be drawn at the right there. So to draw these things, you better use the functions. So what is the function? As you know, uh, this setup and draw is the function, right? So the setup and draw function is already made by the processing languages. So you only need to fill the body. So this is called the body of the setup function, right? So function is the has the function header and function body. The thing is, you can use your own function. It is called user defined function. So you can make your own function and you can call your function too. Let's do it. So let's make our own function. The general overall shape of the function is same as setup or draw function too. So let's type in and void. I'm going to explain what this void word means. And my function and you have to add on the parentheses and curly brace too so let's compare this one the set function and my function is really similar right except the name of the function is different so you can change your own function name if you want that's fine so and let's fill the body so let's make a simple function to draw lips right 100 100 100, 100. Uh, that's it. So this is function definition. You have to uh, keep in mind this is the function definition. So if you want to call this function, you can type in the function name and brace and with it semicolon. That's it. So this is function call. This is function definition and this is function call. So after making your own function, you can call anywhere. So let's run it. So if you run this call, see? So if you run this program, the setup function will be run, right? So in this setup function, the size function will be called to make the canvas 600, 600. After that, test function will be called. So what the call means? If you call the function, the function body, will be run to draw this ellipse. That's it. So as I told you, you can change your name of the function if you want, right? If you change this name, you have to change this name too. Right? And let's rerun it. That's it. Then what is this keyword? Void keyword means. So void keyword means nothing. So this my function, this function will draw will do the body to draw the ellipse and returns nothing. It's hard to understand what void means. So let's make one more function. I'm going to change the void into int. So let's make my function too. And this function will return one. So I'm going to tell you what this return means. So after making my own function, you can call this function, right? So my function two, and let's run it. Nothing happens. Not, nothing changes. So let's see. See, this my function two will return number one. So what is the return means? So if you, the function returns something, we can use the return values here. So let's say uh, print. See. So look at the console. Look at the console. So the number one was print out because this print function will print this return values. So my function two will return one. Let's change this one. Number one hundred. Then the console will be has the number one hundred, right? So this int or this void means return time. So void means there's no return values. Int means 
this function will return integer data type. Let's make another data type. String, so string has a capture S, keep in mind, string my function 3 will return processing. So my function 3 will return string data type. We can see this keyword string, right? So let's use, let's call the, uh, let's use the print line, okay? My function 3. Keep in mind, if you want to call a function, you have to put the parentheses after the function name. So let's run it. So you can see the processing language, right? So uh, the setup function and draw function has void return type, which means there's no return value. But here, my function 3 will return string data type. From now on, we are going to make a artwork. Right? So in each artwork, per each artwork, we are going to use function. So in each function, we'll draw something. So now let's draw, let's draw this face image. OK, follow me. OK, let's draw this face image. So you have to make your own function, right? So boy, draw face. You can have your own function name. It's up to you. So let's make a comment. Now let's draw the face first. So the face will be drawn yellow. So use, use field function. Shot, like that, like that. Zero, which means yellow. And the stroke, stroke color will be zero, which means black. And let's draw the facial face boundary with a thick line. So we have to use stroke. Weight function, uh, how about that? 10, 10 pixels width. And let's draw the face boundary using ellipse. 100, 100 is the center, and 200, 200 is the diameter of each direction. And let's draw eyes. I should be 2, right? So let's use black eye. Shop, 0, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0 is a black field color and draw the left eye. Uh, so the left eye should be a little less x, a little less y, right? So 100 minus 35, and 100 minus 20, and then it'll be 33. And so let's copy this one. The right eye should be plus, right? And let's, I, let's make a white shiny things in the eyeball. So fill. A is a little white, and I'm gonna use no stroke, no stroke, to not to draw deep. And let's draw shiny eyeballs. One hundred minus forty, little left and left top. One hundred minus twenty-five, fifteen, fifteen. And let's copy this one for the right eye. Should be a little sorry. Let's check it. And uh, we have made a draw, a draw face function. Let's, let's delete all these things and draw face and run it. Is this similar? Yeah, yeah. Little okay. Then let's draw the mouse right here. Uh, to draw the mouse, we have to use arc function. So let's go to the processing.org. So if you go to the reference site, you can see the arc function, which means to draw the arc. It's so complicated. Let's see. So you need at least six parameters. So from A to D is same to the ellipse. A and B is the center. C and D is diameter for X and Y, each one. And start and stop is radi radian for degree, degree, right? So the the, the start things is start degree and stop things ending degree. So from here to here, the arc will be drawn. So in this direction, this is zero. So I told you this is radian. Do you know the pi? So two pi is one hundred eighty degree. So we can draw the mass using this arc function. And let's use the field function, not to draw, not to fill 
the inside of arc and stroke should be black and let's use arc the center should be 100 100 and the diameter will be 100 100 so 0 to pi so this green line pi is 180 right so from 0 to 180 let's draw this one see this is 100 0 and 100 so you have to make it a little shorter mass to draw this thing, 0 0.8 minus 0 0.8 let's say okay and let's run it so this is face image so if you make the face image you can call any time so let's call these functions once again but but we have called this function two times, right? But this draw face image, the face function will draw the same face right there. So nothing's changed. So you have to change the position, the point, position of the face image. That's why we need argument. So here, um, okay, see, this is elite function has four argument, or you can say that parameters. So this first uh, two numbers is the center, and the last two number is the diameter. Right? If you change these parameters, the ellipse shape or ellipse position will be changed. So that's the parameter. So let's make one more parameter. Two, it x and it y. It x and it y will be center of the face image. So you have to change some numbers here into x and y so here 100 will be the center x 100 center will be y right so this is x this is y this is x this is y this is x this is y same same here and this is x this is y so this draw face is need two parameters so if you call this the draw face functions without parameters some error message will be here, right? The function draw face expects parameter like int int, which means two integer number you have to give. So let's give this 100, 100. And this thing, 300, 100. So the red underline were gone, right? Uh, let's run it. See? This is why you need to make your function. So let's make it, uh, let's give a little variation. So in a draw function, we can use if, if mouse press is system variable, right? So if you click so the mouse, the draw face function will be called X and plus Y. And let's run it. So this two uh, face was drawn inside a function. And if you click somewhere, face image will be drawn right there. This is why we need the functions.